Welcome into the first installment of River Kings Coach's Corner. And of course, sitting in front of me is the head coach and director of hockey operations, Derek Landmesser. Derek, have you gotten used to that new title yet? You've had some time to uh, let it sink in. What does it feel like? Uh, it's, it's a good feeling, uh, you know, getting back behind the desk, getting adjusted to the new job. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, um, you know, putting in some long hours, but uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it and uh, I'm looking forward to the season. What's been the biggest adjustment so far transitioning from the long playing career that you had into being behind the bench and having to stay there? I think most coaches will tell you it's uh, it's recruiting. Um, you know, it's a lot of hours spent in there doing a lot of homework on a lot of players, uh, a lot of phone calls, a lot of background checks, um, you know, a lot of emails, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's part of the job, and I think most coaches will tell you that's, uh, that's probably the toughest part of the job. Are you enjoying yourself out there, been able to get in and watch some of the training camps uh, with the fans? Are you enjoying your time so far uh, as you hit the ice as the head coach instead of a player? Absolutely. You know, we've had tremendous support the last couple of days, our open practices. Uh, we've had a lot of our fans out, you know, and, you know, the players recognize that and, and they see the support here and, you know, the buzz around the locker room is, you know, a lot of the guys are real excited to be here and, and playing in, you know, in Mississippi in front of our fans. And, uh, you know, I think uh, Friday night's going to be a big test, uh, you know, putting on a show for our home crowd. Talk to me a little bit about some of the players you brought into camp for those who may not be familiar with the SPHL and the new league that the River Kings are playing in. Talk a little bit about the players are, who are in camp and also uh, uh, the players that are, are going to look to make the roster. What are they bringing to the table? Well, you know, obviously you start with Daryl Stoddard. You know, he's a veteran player, you know, at, at, at at the Central Hockey League level, and, you know, we look for him for big things. You know, Stodds has been a, a big part of this area the last six years. Um, we're going to look to him for a lot. And, you know, we got some other guys that have been around the league, you know, Kyle Lundell, Trevor Krasowicz, guys that, you know, have been Southern Professional League players uh, throughout their careers and impact guys that, uh, you know, we're going to rely heavily on uh, to, to, to work with our younger players on the ice. So, uh, you know, we're, we're excited. I know you haven't played any games yet and it's just practice, but are there any players who have stood out to you so far of anybody who you didn't just list now? Oh, for sure. There's been a lot of, you know, surprises, uh, you know, guys that, you know, I expected to come in here and, and compete for a job. And, you know, I've been pleasantly surprised with a lot of kids. Uh, you know, some guys have shown me some really neat things and, you know, some young kids with a lot of, you know, heart and enthusiasm that they bring into practice every night. Um, you know, the real, the real test will be, uh, you know, our exhibition games um, and real, uh, real game situations, so um, you know, I'm looking forward to that. Of course you do a variety of different drills on any given day during training camp and during practice, but what types of drills have you really been focusing on or, or what types of things on the ice have you really been trying to push hard? Well, you know, the short training camp, we you know, only have a couple days. You know, I look for the individual skill stuff, uh, the work ethic, uh, the compete level for, that the guys bring, um, you know, at all practice. Uh, like I said, in game game situations going to be you know a, a big test for a lot of guys. But you know we've had upbeat practices the last couple of days, and you know I'm excited to see what uh, what, what the boys can do uh, Thursday Friday night. Compared to where you wanted to be at this point heading into the regular season, when you assess where you are now in terms of the recruiting you've done and the things you've been able to accomplish at training camp, where do you think you are now compared to where you expected to be at this point? No, I, I expect it to be exactly where we're at. Um, you know, I've got a real good core nucleus of guys. Um, you know, like I said, these next couple next couple days will, will prove a lot more to me, uh, finalizing our roster. Uh, but like I said, we got a real good group of guys and, and a lot of talent uh, in that dressing room that, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to put on the ice and, and excited to see what they can do. Let's talk about those next two days. Tomorrow you have a preseason matchup in Huntsville against the Havoc. Uh, for the River Kings' first ever game in the SPHL in franchise history. And then you bust back home on Friday for the first and only home exhibition game against the same Huntsville Havoc. What are the type of things you're looking for in the players that you're going to be taking a looking at uh, in those next two preseason games? I'm looking for a lot of things. I'm looking for, you know, the energy these guys can bring, the, you know, the skill the skill set they bring night in, night out, um, and just their compete factor. You know, on guys that are going to give 100% every shift out there. Guys are going to play physical, you know, with a chip on their shoulder, and guys that, you know, are going to compete and, and, and you know, do whatever it takes to win. So these are the kind of things I'm looking for the next couple nights because, like I said, we got we got 28 guys in camp, and, you know, we can only keep 18, so, you know, it's, it's going to come down to, you know, the compete level and the guys that want to be here and um, guys that are going to go, you know, go work hard every night. 
give me and the fans some indication of what it's going to be like after Friday. The last preseason game ends. You have to make cuts. Give me a little run through of what next week will be like um, in a day to day kind of situation for you as you prep for that home opener. Well, you know, there's a lot of preparation. There's be some tough decisions they're going to have to make after the weekend. Um, you know, after after seeing the next couple games, you know, I've got to make decisions. Um, so, it, you know, it will be trimming down a little bit, uh, and then getting ready for next week. Uh, we'll have a lot of a lot of lot to go over next week in practice to get prepared for the home opener. But um, like I said, we, we got a, we got a lot of work to do before next weekend. But um, like I said, we'll we'll trim down and, and get to where we need to be. For the fans that are listening, what are the going to be the differences between the SPHL and the CHL on the ice? Um, you know, it's it's. You know, probably the age factor. You know, Central League's a lot older, more veteran league. Um, but in the Southern Pro, there's a lot of young guys that have, a, you know, a lot of jump, a lot of energy, kids that are going to use, you know, the level to, to get up to the higher levels, as, as do kids in the Central Hockey League. They always use that to get to the next level. Um, but you're going to see a lot of high-energy kids, a lot of enthusiastic kids, um, and players that, you know, that are, are full, of, uh, full of energy. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you. That was uh, Derek Landmesser, the new head coach and director of hockey operations in the first installment of River King's Coach's Corner.